Welcome everyone to day two of Compassion Camp. Today we are talking about to the neighbor. So that is having compassion for our neighbors. And not just the person who lives right next door to us, but our neighbors are people who are in our community and just in our world. Those are our neighbors. And we are just so glad that you are here to join us today and learn more about compassion because being compassionate it's not always easy. Sometimes we have to take a risk in order to be compassionate and to ease someone else's pain, suffering, or hurt. But we do that by being brave. We can jump in, help someone, stand up when we hear something that's wrong or see something that shouldn't be happening. And so that is showing compassion. Well, I'd like you to help me finish these sentences about people who can be brave. I'm wondering if you can think of several other options to complete the sentence. So let's try one out. So there's this girl, her name is Mia, and she has extra food at home in her kitchen and her pantry. And she can be brave and do what do you think? She can take that extra food that's in her pantry to the local food bank and donate it so that it can be given to someone who's in need. Right. Yeah. I have a question. So Taylor is a lifeguard and Taylor sees someone struggling in the water. How can Taylor be brave? Well, he should be ready to go or she should be ready to go and jump in with the proper equipment and save that person and bring them in to the side of the pool or the lake and just not hesitate to save them, right? Right. Okay. Well, here's another one. So Jaden sees a friend picking on another child or a younger child and that never feels good, right? No. But Jaden could be brave and do what? Stick up for that younger child and tell his friend that that's not how we treat one another. We have to be kind and compassionate. Okay, I have another question. Okay. Mrs. Perez it notices that a student in her classroom is being left out. The student's not being included in anything. And so what is something that, that Ms. Perez can do um, with to tell or say to the other students mm. in her classroom? How can she be brave? Yeah, you know, if a teacher notices that, it's kind of brave for the teacher to speak up and challenge the other students to reach out, maybe quietly even behind, you know, to set it up so that we can reach out to that person who's left out. And then that she would challenge the class. And then the class would have to kind of do it without it being a big show, right? They'd right. have to quietly go help the left out student. I think that's a great question because it's something that would, what we talked about yesterday, we talked about empathy and how we can feel what other, people's, other people feel if we've experienced something like that ourselves. And yeah. so, you know, those other children may be like, well, I remember what it feels like to be left out and not be included. And so Mrs. Perez can remind them how that feels and they, they will go and, and make it right. Yeah, yeah. I think that's important to know, to remember like when you were new somewhere and you came into a whole new group, what it felt like to be left out. And then the empathy's there and you have courage and bravery to act on it. Yes. So here's another one. Um, so there's this doctor, her name is Dr. Nishioka, mm -hmm. and she hears that some people need medical attention, but they cannot afford to pay for it. What could Dr. Nishioka do? Dr. Nishioka could be brave and say that even if this person doesn't have the money, doesn't have health insurance to pay for this, they need this medical attention and I'm gonna give it to them regardless of if they can pay or not. Sometimes doing the right thing means that you aren't gonna make the money that you normally would at a job that you have, or that you have to go outside of your comfort zone or how you feel safe to be brave. Sometimes you have to step out of your safe zone. Mm -hmm. 
Well, our song today is all about being brave. And, you know, it could, it could make you feel a little scared being brave, right? And so it's all right to feel a little scared. It is. But to know that God is giving you this feeling for a reason. Mm -hmm. And that reason is so that you can be there with the person. God has helped you to see the person, to feel empathy for the person, and then you have the courage and the bravery to go ahead and act, even when you feel a little bit scared, to make those hard choices that just ease the hurt of other people. So now we hope that you will get your egg shaker and your song sheet for day two out of your packet and sing along with us to the song titled Brave Enough. Brave enough. All right, this is Brave Enough. We are brave enough to love. We are brave enough to show compassion. We are brave enough to listen and tell the truth. can help us make brave choices and with those choices and when we make those choices look out because that is showing that we have God's love inside of us and we can use that love to help us restore our communities our friendships and ourselves mm -hmm. so the story that you're about to hear for our lesson today is this incredible story where people saw a problem and they saw a problem that looked like it just could not be solved but then they got very creative and they, they took a roof off of a house and went through the ceiling created a massive hole and their courage to do this amazing thing surprised everyone and it brought a sense of awe and a sense of courage to everyone and so it's a great story that just shows some bravery and some amazing imagination and working together that's right yeah so as we prepare to learn more about compassion to our neighbors we are going to say a prayer so everyone put your hand on your head and another hand on your heart we are doing this because compassion happens in our brains but is felt in our hearts all right, repeat after me. Dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. Your compassion always looked like courage. Your compassion always looked like courage. Strengthen our hearts with your bravery. Strengthen our hearts with your bravery. As we risk, reach out and lift up. As we risk, reach out and lift up. Our brothers and sisters near and far. Our brothers and sisters near and far. Help us keep our eyes on you. Help us keep our eyes on you. Amen. Amen. So now go out and listen to the Bible story that Pastor David told us about. And also um, do all of the fun activities that are planned today. And listen to the song, Brave Enough. Learn the words, and we will sing it together this afternoon during our Zoom call. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Good morning, children. Uh, I'm Jenny Lindsay, and I'm going to tell you a story this morning about Jesus. And uh, Jesus was visiting a town called Capernaum, and he was staying with someone in their house. 
and everyone heard that he was there and they were very excited because Jesus healed people and he made them part of their community again. And so many people gathered that you couldn't even get in the house. There were people outside the door. Well, there was a man who was paralyzed. That means that he couldn't walk or stand up. So he asked his friends to carry him to Jesus. But when they got there, there were so many people they couldn't get in. So his friends had an idea. They went up on the roof and they dug down through the roof and they lowered their friend on a mat down to where Jesus was in the room. Well, when Jesus saw their faith, he said to the man, I see you, I love you. You are made whole in your community again, and I forgive your sins. There were people from the temple leaders who were watching Jesus and when they heard him say these things to the man, they were angry. They thought to themselves, who does that Jesus think he is anyway? Nobody but God can say those things. Well, Jesus, he knew what they were thinking. So he said to them, which is easier to say, I see you, I love you, your sins are forgiven? or to say, get up, take your mat and walk. And so that you know that I have the authority to do both of these things, he said to the man with compassion, get up, take your mat and go home. And the man stood up and he took his mat and he went home with his friends. Well, everybody was amazed and they praised God. And they said, we have never seen anything like this before.